When you're thinking about the vision for your school in the future, the starting point should be really around your theories of learning. How do young people learn? What will be the impact on their learning when they have ubiquitous access to technology? We asked uh, Melbourne Primary School Principal Esme Cap for her views and how she'd worked with her school community in the development of the vision for her school in the future. Hi, I'm Esme Cap. I'm Principal here at Princess Hill Primary School in Carlton North, um, Melbourne, Victoria. It was really began um, with a really intense study by the staff of of theories of learning um, and belief structures about children and about learning that underpinned what happened within the classroom. And then coming to consensus about what did we believe in um, regarding those key issues. Um, and some of the key ones were, were that, that children are very much cultural beings um, and the social their social interactions, their social interactions with adults, with, with their peers, with their youngest um, children within the school, really underpinned um, all of their learning and how that happened. Um, that children learn through a variety of means, um, and writing is not really the main means in which children learn. Um, it's through making, creating, through discussion, through idea generation, um, through the use of technology, obviously now within the world. You know, I'm adamant that children need to be able to read, and children need to be able to write, and children need to be numerate and understand the use of mathematics within their world. But I also believe strongly that the basics have now expanded um, incredibly into many, many other areas. Um, to just be literate and numerate no longer um, are the basics. Children have to be able to collaborate. Children have to be thinkers critically, laterally and creatively. Um, they have to be able to learn how to learn. To work in this way does require a lot of courage and it requires a lot of risk taking. Um, and, and really, um, I think, you're not going to be popular with a lot of people as well as you will have some core staff members who can see the vision, who can live up to it. It's about in beginning and embedding the process with those people um, and with that structure and who will win over um, the rest of the community is the children. Having met with a group of principals recently um, who came into the school um, wanting to transform their practices um, within their schools, um, the two pieces of advice that I did give them were firstly about developing strong principles of learning. What is it, that, how is it that you believe children learn? Um, what are the key principles that underpin that approach? Um, and having them as the foundation in all decision making that happens within the school. And then to develop that, you need a community of inquirers. You need a staff to take on the concept as researchers, as a community of inquiries of how we're going to enact those principles of learning um, and to embed them into everything that we do within the school. I think the key, the, the key element um, in terms of aligning to the curriculum development is, is valuing that each child is an individual um, and that each child's journey will come around in, in a different time frame. 